Hi. So um, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, my story and how Christ has worked in my life. And um, I'd like to just give a shout out to Dave Champ for always rising um, to the challenge every time I get a text or a phone call from him. Um, so initially, I was very hesitant to do this um, because I don't feel like I am qualified. I feel like I'm still um, you know, going through this process, but I will share with you, um, what I have experienced thus far. Um, I didn't really want to say yes to this because, um, I felt like I don't have a testimony and, um, the more I thought about it and the more I talked to Dave about it, um, I realized that, you know, maybe I do have a story to tell. Maybe I just don't want to tell it because there are going to be some, and flattering things that are going to come out when I tell that. And um, as a result, um, oddly enough, John 3, verse 19 through um, 21 came up. And as I'm trying to thumb through my Bible, I, I apologize. Um, it, it made a lot of sense as to why it was hesitant, but why I feel like I need to push forward. So John um, 3 verse 19 through 21 says, this is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but men love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that his deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what he has done has been done through God. Um, so this particular verse speaks to me, um, specifically because I have not always lived a life for Christ. I have always known who Christ was. Uh, I was raised in the church. Um, I've always believed, um, you know, in Jesus and his resurrection and that he had died for my sins. Um, but I was certainly not living a life for Christ. Um, and so... Uh, for me to be able to talk about that and how my life has changed and starting to live for Christ um, is difficult because I have this whole idea or ideal that, um, you know, this persona I put on is is perfect. And obviously it is not. Um, and in reading through the scriptures, John 3 and John 4, specifically the woman at the well, when she goes and she says that, um, you know, come meet this man who knew everything about me. And here I spend all this time trying to keep all these things, um, you know, that I have done or that I feel ashamed of, um, secret from someone who has known me from the time that I wasn't even on this earth, that has known me from that time. Um, you know, I, I think specifically Psalm 139, verse 14, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. So here I am wanting to avoid doing this because the person that, um, what's the scripture uh, again? Your eyes saw my unformed body. So I'm trying to hide things from someone who saw my unformed body. Um, to me, now that I say it out loud, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Um, so I think that this challenge and this, um, you know, request has been really great. Um, again, I don't feel like I have a huge testimony. Mine is more of a sunrise and I feel like the sun's really starting to come up at this point. Um, it, it wasn't something that, I didn't know who Christ was. I was fortunate to know who he was from a very early time. Um, what I am learning now is how to live for Christ um, and to live unashamedly for Christ. So um, I guess I will say um, I am unashamed to live for Christ even though I have 
multitude of sins that I can't even account for. Um, I am unashamed to live for Christ because Christ knows who I am and loves who I am. Um, I am unashamed to live for Christ because even though every single day I fail, he loves me. Even though every single day that I fail, he forgives me when I ask for his forgiveness. Um, hmm. I am unashamed to live for Christ because that's what Christ calls me to do. Um, 